The government of Ghana has over the past few years been aggressively promoting a digital and cash light economy. According to them, the adoption and growth of digital technologies, especially digital payment solutions, will create opportunities for businesses and individuals alike. This is why the Bank of Ghana has initiated plans to introduce a digital currency, also known as the ECD. Already, central banks around the world are exploring the introduction of digital money as legal tender. The Ghanaian government is one of the first African countries now entering a pilot phase. The project is part of the Digital Ghana Agenda, which involves the digitization of the country of 30 million people and its government services. The digital CD or ECD is intended to complement and serve as a digital alternative to fiscal cash, thus driving the Ghanaian cash light agenda through promotion of diverse digital payments while ensuring a secure and robust payment infrastructure in the country. Speaking at the Sith Ghana CEO Summit in Accra, Governor of the Central Bank, Dr. Ernest Addison, noted that the Central Bank has begun piloting the first digital currency in the western north region of the country. In keeping with the bank's commitment, to digitization of the sector, the ECD project is progressing steadily. Since financial inclusion is one of the objectives, the bank has deemed it necessary to test an offline version of the ECD that can be used for consecutive payments between individuals and merchants where there is no connectivity infrastructure, just like cash. Digitizing the offline transactions of rural and frontier households holds the key to creating the necessary market linkages that could result in access to finance. So far, the usage and uptake of the offline version of the ECD is being piloted in a small town called Seshi Yasafu in the Western North region. Selected users in that community have been using the ECD for daily purchases such as food, grocery, and drinks. The bank will continue to work with these users to obtain the critical usage data that will inform the decision about the ECD's future after the pilot. These are clearly landmark events in providing digital leadership with the payment systems to lead to a digitized economy in the near future. As part of efforts to improve the country's digitalization drive, Minister of Public Enterprises Joseph Kuju also noted that his outfit will in the coming months be partnering the State Interest and Governance Authority, SIGA, to digitalize both private and public sector operations. The government of Ghana has started reaping the benefits of a number of e-initiatives which you can write on to achieve your goal of digital leadership. As a country, we're already committed to using technology and ease the engage, engagement between public and private sectors and improve the quality of lives of our citizens. Going forward, the Ministry of Public Enterprises, through SIGA, is working closely with the public enterprises to digitize their processes. This is to bring them up to speed with a level required where they can provide speedy support and services to businesses and the citizenry. To this end, we support the building of partnerships, sharing of experiences, and peer learning among CEOs within, the, within both the public and private sector space. This would engender a collective resolve to overcome the business challenges through collaborative partnerships. 